So welcome to part two in fixing the biggest issues on our Fire Stick. Last week we fixed this notification issue which was causing problems for lots of users. Today we're going to talk about storage. Now storage really has to be one of the, the most annoying things about these Fire Sticks whereby they just don't have much storage at all and once you install a couple of applications that storage is very very quickly used up. Now you may be saying why not just put in a USB drive, expand the storage and away you go. Now in theory that's fine but in reality when you actually try to move these applications, so for example here we can see with the care application I can just click on that and we now see this easy option move to USB storage and it would be great if all of the applications on our Fire Sticks and Fire TVs gave us this option but as you can see in reality if I want to move to BTV I click on that we can see there's no option to move the application to my USB storage or maybe I want to move the very large Netflix application but again when I click on that we can see there's no easy way to move this application until today so if I now press one button on my device, we can now see those applications, those unmovable applications have now in fact been moved over to my USB storage. And what this basically means is all of those storage problems, all of those low storage warnings really shouldn't be an issue anymore because we literally can move all of the applications on our Fire Stick, Fire TVs directly over to our USB drive. So in this video today, let me show you how you can quickly follow this process and move all of these applications with more or less one click. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the new third generation Fire TV Cube, which as you guys know, has a full size USB port, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device, as long as it runs Fire OS 6 or higher. And if you need to have a full size USB port on your device, you can just use a micro OTG cable to give you that port. Now, once you plug in your USB drive for the first time, you will see a prompt asking, do you want to format this as internal storage? So click on yes, let that formatting complete. And once that's done, when you now go over to your settings, when you go over to your MiFi TV, click on about and inside storage, you'll see the internal space and the external space. The external space is in fact the USB drive. So this is pretty standard, this is pretty basic. Anybody plugging in a USB drive and formatting it can get to this stage. And let me firstly show you applications which are supported and unfortunately there's not many of them, but let's open that up. So for example, definitely the care application. If I click on that, we can see has the option built in move to USB storage. So you can click on that it will take some time depending on the size of the application, but very quickly you can move this application or any application that has that option, you can quickly move it to your USB drive. And whilst we're waiting for this to finish, at the end of the video, I will show you probably the three or four main issues of running your applications from your USB drive. Please do make sure you watch the video to the end. And we can see that process has now completed, which is obviously the option to move back to internal storage. Now if I go back, but we can see for most of the applications like Just Watch, no option to move. And of course, Tubi, no option to move. And this Xiaomi TV, again, no option to move. So in this demonstration, I'm going to move both Tubi TV and also Xiaomi TV. Now, the way we do this is we use a free application available directly on the Amazon App Store called Explore. And using this application, we can actually extract the installation file for any application installed on your device. And we can then use that to reinstall directly onto the USB drive. So literally takes a couple of clicks. And once you're done with it, you'll be able to do it for all of your applications. We can now open this up. And this way it looks like when you first start it. So it can look a bit daunting, but it's very, very straightforward to use. Now what we're going to do is go down into App Manager. Let's click on that and click on installed. And this now shows you all of the applications installed on your device, the ones that you can actually move over to your USB drive. And if I keep scrolling down, 
we have FilmRise, all the applications I have on my device are listed here. Now to move the installation file, all you have to do is just long press the select button. Let's do this one first. So I'm long pressing select and I have the option to copy to clipboard. Let's do that. That's now copied. If I now go back to the top, let's go to the internal shared storage, go into the downloader folder. And the reason why this is important is we are able to write contents or write files into the downloader folder, which is why this is the folder I recommend you use. So again, long press the select button and I can now select paste. If I click on download it now, if I keep scrolling down, we can see the Analyti file there. So this is the installation file for that app. Now, before we continue, let's also get 2 TV. So keep scrolling down, go back to the app manager, go to installed. What you can also do to speed up the process is select multiple files. So in this example, let me select both 2 TV and the Xiaomi TV. Keep scrolling down. Now again, you want to long press on 2 TV. So long press the select button. This time I'm going to select mark, which basically means we are selecting the file. So let's click on mark. We can see the tick next to that. Keep scrolling down. Let's also mark Xiaomi TV. Long press select and click on mark. We can see we have two files ticked now or two files marked, but of course you can mark as many files as you like. Once you've done that, let's now long press the select button and again select copy to clipboard. And we can see at the bottom now it says two files have been copied to the clipboard and they are ready for pasting. So once again, let's now go to the top, keep scrolling up, go back to internal storage, go back to downloader, long press the select button here and select paste. So we can see now we have 2 TV in the list and we also have Xiaomi TV in the list. So we now have the installation files for these applications. So all I need to do now is press the home key, go back into settings, go to applications, go to manage install applications. If I just show you first, if you click up here, I wanna see my USB apps only. We can see we have three apps on my USB drive. Now, if I go back to uh, internal only, Let's now find the first one in the list, which is this one. Click on that. I can now click on uninstall. Click on confirm. So we've now removed one application. Keep scrolling down. Let's now also uninstall 2 TV. Click on that. Click on uninstall. That's also gone. And lastly, if you go to Xiaomi TV, let's also remove that first. Click on confirm. So we removed three applications in total. If I go back to explore, I can now find to be in the list. Let's click on that. Now the very first time you do this with the explore file manager, it will ask you that make sure you give them permissions to allow installation through this application. It takes a few seconds, but what's actually happening in the background is this application is now being installed directly to my USB drive. That's now all done. I can click on done. Let's also install the Xiaomi TV. Click on that. Click on install. That's done, I can click on done. Let's now press the home key. Okay, this is now the moment of truth. If I now go over to settings, go to applications, go to manage install applications. If I now go to show me the USB apps, do we see 2B and do we see Xiaomi TV in the list? Yes, we do guys. So these applications, these unmovable applications have now been moved over to our USB drive. So do give a thumbs up for that. That's pretty much the process guys so very easy to do as i demonstrated before you can actually select multiple applications copy them to your downloader folder uninstall those applications and when you install them again from the downloader folder they'll go directly onto your usb drive now in terms of the top issues as i mentioned before probably the first main issue is you'll notice a slight delay in when you launch these applications from the usb drive compared to launching applications from the internal storage. The next issue you have is updates. So any of these applications that get an update, you can't update them directly from the USB drive. So for example, if there's a new update to Plex TV, I have to click on that. I'll have to move it to internal storage, let the update finish, 
and then follow the same process to move it back to my USB drive. So it's not the best, it's not the most ideal, but again, it will allow you to save on internal storage because you can run all of these applications now from your USB drive. And the last one is more just an FYI that certain USB drives do cause more problems than others. I personally recommend SanDisk drives. They're the ones that I've always used and I will leave an Amazon link in the video description and the pinned comment if you want to buy the same drive as me. I personally would recommend a 64 gig or a maximum of 128 just to ensure maximum compatibility. And if you are looking for a maximum discount on a VPN, right now IPVanish are doing a crazy offer just for the next few weeks whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your Fire Sticks, your Fire TVs, your phones, your tablets, your Windows PCs, every device covered at maximum speed, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, all of that at just over $3 a month. I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. So do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. Let me know what you think about moving these applications to USB and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.